All right, guys. I just want to talk about Dylan Mulvaney's new song. Okay, so Days of Girlhood. She's got another new song on now too, I think. But anyway, the Days of Girlhood. Okay, so for trans people and for Dylan Mulvaney and for people that like trans people, it's a good song, right? I mean, she she had the Days of Girlhood, which got caused her to be famous. She basically talks about things that maybe people can't relate to, people don't like. But we have to remember that a lot of songs that people sing, like, you know, like, um, uh, like all these songs that women sing or men sing that are positive about this fun, fancy life or this fun, crazy life of dating, abundance dating or dating someone you really like or, or having fun as a girl or having fun as a bachelor or guy or having fun being a person in general, right? These songs are fun for people, right? And anyone can relate. I mean, even if you're poor or struggling, you do want to have fun at times, right? So Dylan Mulvaney's song is something that brings up people's uh, spirits, makes people feel good, right? I mean, it's not like you have to be someone that is living the high life all the time, or even some of the time. You can really relate to it. It's a positive song, right? It's like when J-Lo sings, let's get loud, let's get loud, and turn the music up to hear that. Let's get, you know what I mean? Like, it, it's not meant to be like, oh, she's mocking women or she makes women feel bad about themselves because most women are poor and are struggling. Yes, it's true. A lot of women and men are poor and struggling. It's very difficult, for sure. And it really sucks. And some of them really can't enjoy music like that, right? For them, it is really bad and they can't enjoy it. But these kinds of songs have been around for a long time. So, I mean, I, I totally get that. If you can't enjoy it because you're poor and struggling, and you have a hard time, I totally get that. You're not going to want to hear a song like that. But, I mean, um, people have listened to that kind of music for a long time. Like, even like uh, Neil Sedaka, right, with Calendar Girl. I love, I love, I love my calendar girl. Yeah, sweet calendar girl. Each and every day of the year. That's the cover of Neil Sedaka. But he sang Calendar Girl, and not everyone dates a new calendar girl. Not everyone likes to date a bunch of girls, but it's a catchy song. Not even everyone likes to date girls, right? But it's a catchy song and people love it. And we all know it's frivolous and fluff, but it's fun and no one's going to be like, it, it's like a, brings guys back. You know, most people like guys that like to date a lot, but no one's going to be like, it takes guys back to the days of cheating or something. No one's going to say that, right? It's just a fun song and you use it as you will, right? If you date lots, if you date little, you can still enjoy the song, right? Anyway, thank you for watching. Bye now.